looking out to the future and people's concerns, I think one of the big topics is education, uh, making sure that people who are here today and the children and next generations uh, will, uh, you know, will have a, a really good opportunity to succeed in, in the future economy and future society. Uh, what, uh, what do you say in this area? Well, it's a most difficult issue. I think, uh, you know, President Bush and uh, Senator Kennedy developed this No Child Left Behind. And, you know, it's been criticized a lot by the teachers union and some of the uh, parents. But it was an attempt to make sure that, that everyone did get an education and was not left behind. But the, but the implementation has, has not been that successful, although it set a standard that a lot of children are meeting. And, you know, we're in a global society. If you look at India and uh, uh, China. China, I mean, those two countries have developed their education process. I mean, there are 300 million people in China alone that have an education process equal to a, you know, a, sci a college degree. And, you know, that's more than we have in people in this country. So we're in a world market. We need to educate our children so we can survive. And I, it's, it's a challenge. And I, I don't, you know, I'm, I'm going on the board of a charter school over at Alameda. And I've spent, uh, about 15 years ago, I spent a year and a half helping the Alameda Unified School District develop a vision. And then my prior firm uh, spent a million and a half dollars helping them to create this school for a uh, one-room schoolhouse, if you will. And now 15 years later, it's in the top 8% of the schools in California. So we're trying to replicate it over there. I've been testifying for the school boards and the district school board, the county school board have both denied it. But I think that we're going to go back in this, this fall and submit it again. And I'm, I'm optimistic that we will replicate that school. We've already got 250 to 300 students waiting to get in. And if we could replicate 400 students, bang, 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 you know, because they're so successful. And it's, you know, I'm not saying it's only answer, but this model has been successful. And it's, uh, it, you know, I, I don't know that there is no silver bullet. Uh, you know, it may be, you know, I think the nurses, they solved their problem, and I think they did it with money. They created the nurses now, I think, are getting so much, not so much money, but a lot of money to be nurses. And as a result, you've got a lot of people going into that nursing field. It's just like uh, when I graduated from college, I mean, the guy, I said, if you, he said, if you want to be successful from a business standpoint, you got to be a CPA or a lawyer. Well, I mean, now they're saying that, you know, if you want to be successful in and you, and you, and a college education for sure, you need to be a, a nurse. So you got all these people going into nursing, but they're paying them. I don't know for sure, but I'm, I'm assuming they're paying them a lot more than teachers are getting. Oh, absolutely. You're, you're, I don't know that to be no, a fact, but I, I assume that's the case or they wouldn't be so successful. So I think money will be a certainly attractive. I mean, if you can attract kids to go into teaching as compared to going into accounting or law or something else, I mean, you're going to get them. I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's not easy because it's very expensive.